Hi everyone, this tutorial will show you how to set up the dialog system to work with Icebox Studio's Adventure Creator. The Adventure Creator support package imports into a folder in third-party support named Adventure Creator. It also imports two files into Adventure Creator, Scripts, Actions, since this is the required folder for Adventure Creator Actions. If you've moved Adventure Creator from its original location, you must move these two files into the new location also. Then open the Game Editor, go to Actions, and click Refresh List. It'll pick up the two new actions, Third party dialogue system, start a bark and start a conversation. If you want Adventure Creator to save the dialogue system state in its save system, you'll have to edit two scripts. These steps are shown in the manual. So I'll just go over them briefly here. In Scripts, Menu, Menu System, we add this statement to save the dialog system state. And then in Save System, when the level is loaded, we reapply that save data back into the dialog system. And you simply copy and paste these lines as indicated in the manual. Now let's add a dialog manager object to the initial scene. The dialog manager coordinates all dialog system activity. To get it to communicate with Adventure Creator, select Window, Dialog System, Component, Integration, Adventure Creator, AC Bridge. And while we're at it, Window, Dialog System, Component, Triggers, Show Cursor on Conversation. This ensures that the Dialog System's UI gets cursor control during conversations. On the bridge, tick Turn Off Adventure Creator to tell the bridge to pause Adventure Creator, including player control, during conversations. When a conversation starts, the bridge copies Adventure Creator's inventory and global variables to the Dialog System's Lua environment. When a conversation ends, it copies the Lua values back into Adventure Creator. You can check and modify the values during conversations, and your changes will be reflected back into Adventure Creator at the end of the conversation. In the Lua environment, Global variables will be in the variable table. You can test them in a dialog entries conditions field and set them in the script field. The only thing to note is that blank spaces and hyphens need to be replaced with underscores inside the indexer for the table. Adventure creator items are recorded in Lua's item table. A field named count specifies how many of the item the player has. So let's create a hypothetical dialogue entry where Tin Pot tips a barrel and gets a sword. First, we create a dialogue database. And we define our actors. And a conversation.
We'll only use this entry if the barrel hasn't already been tipped. And at the end of the entry, we'll set item prop sword count equals one, which gives tin pot a prop sword. Finally, if we want to run an adventure creator cutscene from within a conversation, such as the barrel tip, we simply call the sequencer command AC and the name of the cutscene. So when this dialogue entry is played, Tenpot will say, I'm tipping this barrel. The cutscene sequence, barrel tip, will play. This entry will only be chosen if tipped barrel is false, and Tenpot will receive a prop sword. There's much more you can do with the regular dialogue system features, such as voiceover and quests, but these are covered in separate tutorials and manual sections. Also, you don't have to use the dialogue system's built-in editor. You can write your dialogue in ChatMapper, Artisy Draft, or Neverwinter Nights toolset and use the dialogue system's converter to bring it into Adventure Creator. And that's it for the AC integration tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them on the dialogue system forum thread or contact Pixel Crusher support. Thanks for watching.